హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఆమ్ బాలాజీ రావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ యు సీ దిస్ థీరమ్ ఇఫ్ టీటా ఈజ్ ది ఎక్యూట్ యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ టూ స్ట్రైట్ లైన్స్ దెన్ టాన్ టీటా ఈజ్ మాడ్యులేస్ ఆఫ్ ఎం వన్ మైనస్ ఎం టూ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ ప్లస్ ఎం వన్ ఇంటూ ఎం టూ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రూవ్ దిస్ రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఫస్ట్ ఐల్ కన్సిడర్ టూ స్ట్రైట్ లైన్స్ ఎల్ వన్ ఎల్ టూ లైక్ దిస్ you observe here i consider two straight lines l1 l2 such that whose inclinations are theta1 theta2 respectively you observe this is the line l1 whose inclination is theta1 this is the line l2 whose inclination is theta2 as per the definition if we know the inclination then we can write its slopes slope of line l1 is what as theta1 is the inclination of line l1 slope of line l1 is tan theta1 so slope of line l1 is tan theta1 i'll consider slope of first line as m1 similarly slope of line l2 what is slope of line l2 what is inclination of line l2 inclination of line l2 is theta2 so slope of line l2 is tan theta2 i'll consider slope of second line as m2 actually what we are trying here we are trying for angle between two straight lines moreover here this formula is for acute angle we'll discuss all those things first you observe here uh, this is the angle between these two lines you can see here i considered theta is the angle between the lines l1 comma l2 i considered theta is the angle between these two lines here angle between two lines means mainly two angles you can observe this angle is theta this is vertically opposite angle this is also theta and you see this angle you observe this angle we know that this angle plus theta is what 180 degrees try to understand this angle plus theta is 180 degrees so what is this angle this angle is 180 degrees minus theta please try to understand what i am trying to say here if i consider theta is angle between the lines l1 comma l2 180 degrees minus theta is also angle between these two lines see here this line this line you see here 180 degrees minus theta is also angle between these two lines from figure you try to identify the relation between theta theta1 theta2 you observe theta2 is the exterior angle we know that exterior angle equal to sum of two opposite interior angles theta2 is theta plus theta1 we know this relation from this what is theta what is theta theta equal to you take theta1 to this side theta is theta2 minus theta1 i'll apply tan to this on both sides you observe here for this relation i just applied tan on both sides tan theta equal to tan of theta2 minus theta1 you see this right hand side part it is of the form tan a minus b in trigonometry we learn this formula tan a minus b formula tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b here a is theta2 b is theta1 so what you got here you got that tan theta equal to tan theta2 minus tan theta1 divided by 1 plus tan theta2 into tan theta1 what is tan theta2 look here tan theta2 is slope of second line that we considered as m2 so tan theta2 is m2 minus what is tan theta1 tan theta1 is m1 divided by 1 plus m2 into m1 m2 into m1 is same as m1 into m2 so we got this tan theta equal to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 i'll consider this as equation 1 here what is theta theta is angle between the lines l1 and l2 you can observe here 180 degrees minus theta is also angle between these two lines you observe here in place of theta i just written 180 degrees minus theta rest of all are as it is 
Here what is theta? Theta is angle between two lines. If what we came to know from this equation 1, if theta is angle between the lines, then tan theta equal to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. Here 180 degrees minus theta is also angle between these two lines. I just replaced theta with 180 degrees minus theta. In trigonometry you learn this. When 180 degrees is there, the function tan remains same. This is tan theta. 180 degrees minus theta lies in second quadrant. In second quadrant tan is negative. So tan 180 degrees minus theta is minus tan theta equal to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. Now multiply with minus on both sides. When we multiply with minus on right hand side, this m2 minus m1 will become m1 minus m2. Try to understand this please. When I multiply with minus on both sides, this left hand side minus of minus plus, this right hand side when we multiply with minus, m2 minus m1 will become m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. You take this as equation 2. You observe here, here from equation 1, tan theta is m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. Second equation, tan theta is m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. You observe this first equation. What I'll do, observe this first equation, tan theta equal to, you take minus common in the numerator, take minus common in the numerator, then what you will get? Minus of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. Now, I'll consider this as equation 1. What I can write from 1 and 2? From 1 and 2, I can write tan theta like this. Tan theta equal to, here in equation 2, here plus sign is there. In equation 1, here minus sign is there. So, what I'll write here, tan theta equal to plus or minus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. Okay, you observe here, tan theta positive, tan theta negative. In first quadrant, tan theta is positive. In second quadrant, second quadrant means angle range is 90 to 180 degrees. In second quadrant, tan theta is negative. That means if theta is acute angle, then answer will be positive here. If theta is obtuse angle, then answer will be negative. I'll conclude here. If theta is acute angle, if theta is acute angle, what answer you should get here? You should get positive answer. So, to avoid the unnecessary confusion, what I'll do here, I'll just keep modulus to this part. Tan theta equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. If I keep like this, whether m1 minus m2 positive or negative, whatever it is, as modulus is there, at the end we'll get positive answer. If tan theta is positive answer, then whatever theta we'll get, that definitely will be acute angle. If you want obtuse angle, you just remove the modulus. You just remove the modulus. If you got the positive answer, that is acute angle. If you got the negative answer, from that we can get obtuse angle. I hope you understand this derivation.